It is the 22nd of September 2020. Now five minutes past 8 a.m. Good evening to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. We are broadcasting live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi. It is a very chilly evening. Hoping that you've had a fantastic day uh, and uh, as, even as you continue with this conversation tonight we have a lot in store for you. Now in advisory uh, in an advisory that was dated 21st September 2020 that was yesterday the CS that is the Chief Justice David Maraga gave a, a, a response following six petitions seeking his advice on the matter or concerning the two-thirds gender rule. Now in the statement he said and I quote the petitions are based on the ground that despite four court orders compelling parliament to enact the legislation parliament has blatantly failed refused or rejected to do so now the cj advised the president to dissolve parliament saying in his own words that it was his constitutional duty to advise the president now the question is is the president uh, bound by the cj's advisory what next even as we look into uh, the future of kenyans now tonight we shall be talking about matters to do with parliament hustlers dynasties and the future that you want this tonight i will be joined by daniel orogo he is a current a current convener of the Kenya on the Move political think tank, that is a KOM, and the former aspirant of Kibera by elections and a fellow at the political leadership and governance program. So Dan uh, and uh, Dan is the one who will be joining me in a bit. Anita Nkirote, uh, uh, will shall also who is also on your screen, shall be joining me. Dan. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation. What is your, your take in regards to the current political uh, 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 trends that have taken the country so far? How far are we and what is your stand in regards to the future for Kenya? Two minutes starts now. Thank you, Ram. Um, my name is Daniel. And I'm a proud young Kenyan this evening. As you have intimated in your opening remarks, the events of the political scene uh, in the last two weeks has treated Kenyans to a very, very interesting scene. One of the definition of terms that we've seen are three major important things that Kenyans need to find out if that defines them. One is the term dynasty, the other one is the term hustler, and in between there is a term called conmanship. So I would ask Kenyans that the dictionary defines the word dynasty as a family of rulers that has taken a captive of a nation or a kingdom for a long time and has been successful in establishing their governance system. The word hustler on the other terms means a person who's achieved and acquired his own means through a ways of cheating, lying, and using other means to obtain. The word conmanship is known. So in all these words have been treated to a political scene, but the one that remains that has never defined the word citizenship. Where does the Kenyan ordinary citizen stand? So this is a question that I've been asking myself, that in all this definition, we have not defined the word citizenship. And lastly, we are also looking at the fact that, you know, as a country, uh, the last events that took place uh, yesterday night has really has to prove to us whether our nation is a nation that practices constitutionalism mm -hmm. or whether we believe it is or not. All right. So it will be glad that we have an opportunity to discuss this in context and in form tonight. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, you may have your seat there. Now joining me next is Anita Kirote. She is a political scientist undertaking her master's in a public administration at the Kenya School of Government and also the deputy organizing secretary at Third Way Alliance Party Kenya and also the youth senate representative of Taraka Nithi County. Anita, 
Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation. Give them your stand. Following the recent tr uh, trends that have taken place in the country, what is your stand about the future for Kenya? Thank you so much, Ram. I, as Anita Nkirote, would like to remind the young people of Kenya and women that the future is in their hands. The future is in women. The future is in the youth. The future is in our hands. And I'll uh, remind us of Article 1 of the Constitution, which reminds, that, reminds us that uh, we, the people of Kenya, we one nation under God. And I want every Tom, Dick and Harry, I want Omondi, Onyango, Ankirote, Muremi seated over there. I want us all to remember that this country is ours. We are the one who will steer it forward. We don't have to listen to any Tom, Dick and Harry giving us contrary opinions. And I believe the time is now. We have the two-thirds uh, gender rule that has brought uh, a sort of uh, stalemate in the country between the executive and the legislature and the judiciary. And it is timely for young people to demand for their space. And I have seen young people saying, if we go for by-elections, then they will vie. So for me today, I say that the future of the young people mm -hmm. is in our hands. And I will even uh, give an example of Zimbabwe. If you remember, Robert Mugabe was removed by his own people, young people, the youth league of ZANU-PF. So Kenya, young, political, young people in political party can take their stand and can give a direction on the way forward in this country. So for me, the future, is in the hands of the young people. All right, thank you very much, Anita. You may have your seat. That is their stand tonight. What is your stand? Remember, the hashtag, as always, is the stand KE at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. Uh, that is on Twitter. We are also uh, on Facebook. On our website, we are live at www.y254.co.ke. My name is Ramaguko, hoping that you will stick with us from now till the end. The stand starts now.